The Great Temple on Yavin 4 should be a pretty familiar sight to Star Wars fans, as the central base for the Rebel Alliance featured in both Episode 4 and Rogue One. But did you know there's more to this ancient structure than meets the eye? If you haven't been reading the Dr. Aphra comic, it's been pretty fantastic so far. If you went back a few months and told me how excited I would be for the future of this series, I would have called you crazy. But it's like a Star Wars nerd's dream. One of the biggest mysteries in the new Star Wars canon is its history before Episode 1. Well, Dr. Aphra is an archaeologist, so her stories are centered around exactly that. Ancient Star Wars lore, and it's been really exciting to read. In the first arc, Dr. Aphra and her father traveled to Yavin 4 to find a clue to a major archaeological find. The Elder Aphra believes the temples are connected to the Jedi Order, or at least a splinter group of the Jedi that disappeared long ago called the Ordu Espectu. The history surrounding them is muddled, and we're currently unsure if they were serving the light or the dark side of the Force, but what we do know is that the Masasi temples could point the way to their missing stronghold. If your ears perked up at the term Masasi, yes, the temples were said to have been built by the Masasi thousands of years ago, just like in Star Wars Legends, and I'll cover more on that soon. Inside the temple, the Aphra Doctors place crystals in some sort of map room that then interact with not only the Great Temple, but the surrounding ones, which creates some sort of beacon that points the way to the Order Respectu. It's very Indiana Jones-esque, and I loved it. Now the question is, what will they find there? I'll be speculating now, but if we combine the ambiguity of the stories surrounding the Aspectu with what we know about the temples from Star Wars Legends, I expect nothing good will be found at that temple. In Legends, the Masasi were a subspecies of the original Sith species, and they built the temple in honor of their Dark Lord, Naga Sadao. Now the Masasi in canon could be completely different, as we've never seen them before, but until proven otherwise, I'm going to assume that they're dark side affiliated. On top of that, the Ordu Espectu also has roots in Star Wars Legends and a group called the Order of the Terrible Glare. They were another splinter group of the Jedi Order who settled on the planet Garn, which is the same planet the Espectu's fortress is on. They were led by a man named Rur, which is the same name as the Espectu's leader. The Order of the Terrible Glare were a violent cult that waged war on the Jedi Order until they were wiped out. So I'm guessing whatever is inside that fortress waiting for Dr. Aphra will likely be some sort of Sith or Dark Jedi relic. But no matter what they find, I am incredibly excited to learn more about the ancient Jedi Order and their enemies. That's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.